Welcome to RPM Rock and Pop Mandolin, your destination for learning classic rock and pop songs on this wonderful little eight string instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and in this uh, video, we're not going to look at a specific lesson or a tutorial. Nope, I'm going to give you another one of my top five lists, and this time it's the top five 60s riffs for mandolin. That's right, the top five 60s classic rock or pop riffs or licks or motifs for this instrument. And once again, what I'm doing here with this top five list is I'm giving you my favorite songs. These are my personal choices. This list is purely subjective. You might have a completely different list of the top five 60s riffs for mandolin, and that's great. I'd love to hear from you and hear what your lists are. You know, there's so many great bands and artists from the 1960s, Jimi Hendrix, Cream, The Who, The Kinks, The Yardbirds, The Animals, The Beatles, The Stones, of course. So many great artists and so many great bands. There are a million riffs that I probably could have chosen from. So I've whittled it down to this list of my top five rock riffs from the 1960s for mandolin. Now these are not riffs that were originally played on the mandolin. These were riffs that were played on other instruments that I think work really well when you translate them to this instrument or transpose them to the mandolin. Some of them involve a sitar or a guitar with a bit of an effect on it, maybe a 12 string guitar, that sort of thing. All of those sound wonderful on the mandolin. So I hope you'll enjoy this list. But before I get into it, if you haven't subscribed yet, if you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you can, please hit that little red subscriber button down there in the lower right corner of the screen. It really helps this channel to continue to grow and to continue to provide classic rock and pop tutorials for you on the mandolin. If you are a subscriber, if you've been a regular viewer of this channel, welcome back and thank you very much for your continued support. So now let's take a look at my top five 60s riffs for mandolin on RPM. Okay, that was number five on my list of the top five 60s riffs for mandolin. Down on the Corner by CCR, Creedence Clearwater Revival. Of course, CCR and John Fogarty had dozens and dozens of great songs and licks from the 60s. I could have chosen, well, I could have chosen just about anything like Proud Mary or Fortunate Son or even this one. How about this one? Right, that's Bad Moon Rising. And by the way, there's a lesson to Bad Moon Rising on this channel. In fact, there are lessons to all of these top five 60s riffs right here below. If you look in the 1960s category on this channel, you'll see lessons for all of these songs that I'm about to talk about. But I chose Down on the Corner for uh, this list of the top five riffs from the 60s because I think it works really nicely on the mandolin. You can use the G and the D strings really nicely and it's a very cool riff 
uh, for beginners to learn. You can get this riff under your fingers in no time at all and be playing the mandolin even if you're a beginner. So it's... Right, what a cool little riff on the uh, in the key of C, but played on the G string mainly at first. And the chords to the song are of course cool as well. You can play them, uh, you know, it's really fun to get that rhythm going. It's Right, using some of those closed chord patterns that mainly you, maybe you haven't seen them before, especially that F chord down here in the C and the G. Again, there's a lesson to this song on this channel. Check it out uh, for the full tutorial. But I love this song, right from that opening riff and the chords and everything, it really works well for the mandolin. It's a really fun song to play. So that's why I chose this song, Down on the Corner by CCR, as number five on my list of the top five riffs from the 1960s for mandolin. And that, of course, is Roy Orbison's Oh Pretty Woman, number four on my list of the top 60s riffs for mandolin, classic rock riffs. Not only is it a fun pattern to play when you play through the song with all the chord changes, but that little riff also works as a really nice warm-up exercise because it's basically an E7 arpeggio, right? Those notes are all in the E7 arpeggio. And then, of course, he goes up to the F sharp up there like that, so I'll play it a little slowly. Right, so that whole riff is really cool to play as a warm-up exercise to get your fingers going. And you can play that pattern all over the mandolin. You don't have to stick just to the E pattern. You can move it all around and use it as a nice warm-up lick in different keys. For example, here, right? Right, or just move it down. Right, and then even down here. <laughs> to speed it up a little bit, but that really gets your left hand going and it really, you know, really gets you to uh, understand how arpeggios work as well. So it's a great song to learn for many of those reasons, but simply it's a great track. I love the song by uh, Roy Orbison, Oh Pretty Woman, and it's a wonderful song to play on the mandolin. So Oh Pretty Woman by Roy Orbison comes in at number four on my top five list of classic rock and pop riffs from the 60s for the mandolin. list is from the Rolling Stones and just like CCR um, you're gonna say well why did you choose this one paint it black why didn't you choose satisfaction or get off of my cloud or one of the many many other Rolling Stones classic songs and riffs from the 60s well you know this is again just my choice it's my uh, it's my own personal love for this song um, I, this is probably my favorite Rolling Stones song just because I really love that minor key moodiness to it right And I love the way it goes to that last little note there, which is actually a D sharp note, right? It's the seventh note in the E scale, but over the E minor pattern, it sounds very exotic, very mystical, maybe a Middle Eastern or Gypsy Jazz, you know that? that note there. It's right out of the Gypsy Jazz songbook, and I bet the Rolling Stones didn't even realize that, but it goes... right and then resolves to that E minor again. I love that pattern and I love the fact that the way the original version played on the guitar kind of has a bit of an effect on it that sounds like mandolin. Of course the Rolling Stones you can play
Can't Get No Satisfaction. That, of course, is a great riff. And you guys are going to say, well, that's the greatest Rolling Stones riff. Well, maybe it is for guitar, but on mandolin, I find it's just a little bit hollow sounding. It's not quite as nice to me as Paint It Black is. So that's why I've chosen the Stones Paint It Black as number three on my list of the top five classic rock riffs from the 1960s for mandolin. That's Norwegian Wood by the Beatles, one of my favorite Beatles songs and one of the best Beatles riffs or motifs um, of all time. Now again, you guys are going to say, why did you choose this one? Why didn't you choose something like Day Tripper or a Paperback Writer or something like that for the mandolin? Well, of course, those are great songs and great riffs as well, but I think Norwegian Wood works best for the mando because of that sitar sound. You know, George Harrison played the sitar for the first time on that song in the early 1960s. It was really the first time many people had heard of a sitar in Western pop and rock music. So. And when you play that little sitar line on the mando, um, I think it sounds, well, it sounds authentic. It sounds close to what a sitar sound is like on the original track. And of course, um, I play this song in a different key from the original. I believe the original is in the key of E or F sharp. I'm not really sure, but I'm playing it in D. That way I can utilize the open D chord and, and those little licks as well. So I'm playing Norwegian Wood in a slightly different key, but I think it works really well for mandolin. I love the song and I love that whole motif for the mando. So that's why I've chosen the Beatles, Norwegian Wood, as number two on my top five list of 60s riffs for the mandolin. is the classic song by the birds originally written by bob dylan called hey mr tambourine man or hey mr mandolin man as i uh, play it when i sing it um, but yeah that's a classic song from the 60s and i've put it in as number one on my top five list of 60s riffs for mandolin i've chosen it as number one for well for a couple of reasons um, the first reason is I just love the sound of that pattern. The 12 string guitar played by the Birds' Roger McGuinn sounds to me a lot like a mandolin. And the reason is, if you didn't know that a 12 string guitar, the top strings on a 12 string guitar, the highest strings are tuned in unison, just like the strings are on a mandolin. So I think you can get that. I think you can get that 12 string song. You can replicate it closely uh, with the mandolin, which is really cool. And that's why I think this song is really wonderful uh, to play on the mando. But the other reason I really love this song is to me, um, this song more than anything else from the 60s really embodies the spirit of that decade, at least the spirit and well, you might even say a bit of the uh, the na naivete of the early 1960s, you know, the whole peace and love generation. So I think this song, the open string guitar lick there, and the lyrics originally written by Bob Dylan speak to that 60s, the early 60s optimism about the peace and love and following a musician like a, a, a tambourine man off on a journey. So those are the two reasons why I really love this song and why I chose that one, The Birds, Hey Mr. Tambourine Man, as number one on my list of the top 60s riffs for mandolin. So that's my list of the top five classic rock and pop riffs from the 1960s for mandolin. Number five, Down on the Corner by CCR. Number four, Roy Orbison's classic, Oh Pretty Woman. Number three, The Rolling Stones and Paint It Black. Number two, The Beatles and Norwegian Wood. And coming in at number one on my top five list of 1960s riffs for mandolin is the Birds version of Hey Mr. Tambourine Man. 
Again, it's a, a purely subjective list. I'm sure your top five list will be completely different from mine. Um, why don't you post it in the comments below what songs that you think work best for mandolin from the 1960s. My name is Mike Dijon. Thanks very much for watching this video today. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that little subscriber button down there in the lower right corner. Thanks for watching RPM Rock and Pop Mandolin.